in past FLL games, black lines on the mat made it easier for us to navigate, move around, know where we're at. Uh, we use the color sensors to kind of stop at the black lines or follow the black lines or use them to our advantage to solve missions on the mat. But this year there's a bit of a catch with one certain black line. Actually, all the black lines. You see, if you tell your robot to drive out of base and stop at the black line right here to put the tube in the habitation hub in the center, I always want to call it the space station, but I think it's the habitation hub. If you want to put that in the habitation hub, then it's going to drive out and it's probably, if it doesn't stop at this black line, it's probably going to stop right here and it's never going to get over here. But I think I can help you with a solution for that. See, when the robot leaves base, you just want to turn it on for like, I don't know, two and a half, maybe more. You'll have to figure out the rotations. A certain amount of rotations. And get the robot to like right here. And then, what you can do, instead of stopping at the black line, stop at that white line. If you just come straight for base, you're just gonna kinda hit that at a angle and doesn't really go in very well. It might if you get lucky, but let's not leave it up to that. What you want to do is you want to line yourself up square or perpendicular with this white line right here. And now once your robot stops using this light sensor to at the white line, then your robot can use this light sensor to square itself up by moving this wheel forward just a little bit. So I've written some code here, and if you look carefully, you can see that the robot is first actually gonna back up into the wall, so it leaves the wall perpendicular, a little pro tip for you there. And then it's going to go forward for a certain amount of rotations, and then wait a second, and then right up here, it's going to just turn on, motors B and C are gonna turn on until it sees light greater than a light reflected light intensity greater than uh, 75 and uh, if we need to talk more about reflected light intensity let me know I'll teach you exactly how those light sensors work or color sensors work and then the motors are gonna stop it's gonna wait for a second and then just motor C is gonna turn on at a power of 5 and until it sees the same uh, light uh, reflected light intensity and then stop so let's go take a look at what this looks like. I click play, it downloads to the robot, and off we go. You can see it running through the code. It's waiting one second, and then it's moving forward, stops the white line, waits, and now we are perfectly square with the habitation hub to put the tube in. Let's go back up against the wall first. It's gonna drive out a certain amount of rotations. Then it's gonna stop and then it's going to go forward until that light sensor sees the white line, then move forward until that white sen uh, light sensor sees the white line, and then we're pretty much square to go ahead and just move ourselves forward and whatever, do whatever to get the tube in to the habitation hub so it sits like that. That is just a quick uh, programming tip for you all. I hope you found it useful. Uh, it's gonna matter all over the board because there's no actual white then black it's just blues and cool space stuff and then white lines that surround black lines um, let me know if you use this uh, like this video comment uh, if you need some help and uh, I will see you guys in the next mission <laughs>